Hi guys. Um, there's a few people asked me about why I'm still not getting dragged into the expat stuff, and I want to bring up some of the stuff that I do get interested in. Um, I've got to admit, I'm going to put a link here for the Chong sisters. Um, they were murdered many years ago, um, but the video itself will actually is quite an interesting one, and I'll let you make your own mind up because a lot of you guys haven't covered this sort of stuff before. One of the problems you have in the Philippines is you're not supposed to get too politically involved. Um, Philippines government don't like it. And this is why I do I do take an interest in this stuff, but I don't really promote this stuff too, too much because I'm not there to run for mayor. Um, I do talk to uh, councillors, I do talk to mayors, I do talk to people that are in power in the Philippines, but it's normally just general conversation or business related um, because it's not for me to dictate how they run their country. It's nothing to do with me. I, these things are just out of interest. Um, the stuff relating to the anti-child abuse stuff, I did get involved with. I did um, assist the police in getting rid of some people. At the same time, it's not for advertising. It's not, there is no, I'm not after a little badge or something. It's actually getting rid of some of the bad elements um, that the Philippines doesn't need. If you want to read up on it yourself, do a quick Google for Cordova. There's a lot of stuff that goes on Cordova that is very sickening. Um, in Talise, there they used to be um, a lot of child abuse which kids were selling themselves for 50 pesos. That's the stuff I want rid of. Um, yeah, and then there's the Ella Joy murder case, which has actually just had something recently highlight relating to the, the managed to find people that are harvesting people's organs. So, when expats are arguing about trivial stuff, I have no interest in it. At the end of the day, if somebody was doing so, like I said, I mean, like where JLB was doing his silly little thing, I just focused on him for a day, and that was it. He's, he's had his day. And when all the realities of himself come out in public, he went away. That's fine. I'm not interested in going round and round in circles with people. I cannot be bothered. There's far more important stuff out there. And that's why I don't get dragged into this. I have zero interest in um, But, yeah, I think you'll find the Chong sisters an interesting one to look at. And there's a lot of stuff that goes on that a lot of expats aren't even aware of. I mean, the... I mean, the mayor of Telise had a bit of a problem because he moved their market. Um, and they moved the market away from the main road. Now, it doesn't sound a big thing, but yeah, the main road, you pay for a tricycle to go there, and then you get off, and then you get another tricycle up to the market. Well, that means people paid twice as much for going to the market, which meant the market uh, numbers reduced. A lot of people went to Mingdanilio instead because it's a single journey because it was right next to the road. Mingdanilio has just moved their market as well, so uh, another story for another day. But they then found out that the land that was the market they were selling uh, for a development and they didn't think it would influence too much but it actually cost the election um, because the market vendors did not forget and there was, there was a shift in power. But if you're looking for an interesting character as well, I would look up the former mayor's um, son, he, his adopted son. He's an interesting character. But that's why I, I take an interest in. I don't talk about it too much. I just read it and find it interesting. But, um, yeah, that's why I can't bother with the politics. Thanks for watching.